Please be seated. Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Reprise de audience. The chamber will hand the floor to the defense teams. La chambre va à présent donner la parole. And first to the co-counsels for Nunji to put questions to the civil party. Do you have the floor? Vous avez la parole. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, good afternoon, Mr. Civil Party. Um, I have um, a few follow-up questions relating to your testimony this morning, but also your testimony on the 2nd of April um, this year. And I would like uh, to start with reading a small passage from your testimony. Um, that is at 11.21 uh, on the 2nd of April, uh, Mr. President. You testified uh, the following, and I read, um, I was arrested because my elder daughter was in the unit and she ran away together with Im Yem, who testified before me. In fact, they stole sugar cane from the unit and she was arrested and beaten and she was forced to confess that I was a former lieutenant in uh, Phnom Penh. And because she was um, inaudible, uh, confessed, forced to confess so, and then I was arrested for that reason, uh, end of quote. Um, do you remember Mr. Witness testifying this? Monsieur le témoin, vous souvenez-vous avoir dit cela? Yes, I recall that a statement. Um, I'm not sure if I fully understand what you were trying to say. You said that your, your daughter, who was, I believe, around seven years old, was arrested for stealing something. And all of a sudden, it seems uh, she was forced to uh, confess that you were a lieutenant. Did, did she ever tell you this, or how did you came? How did you come to know this? Réponse. I know about this because the, uh, the Khmer Rouge militia uh, beat me up. Mili there were four or five of them. They were beating me up during the interrogation. And they told me that, that I should not hide anything from them and I should tell them the truth that they already knew through my daughter that I was a lieutenant in Phnom Penh. And I thought that how come my daughter told them about this? But on the other hand, I thought because she was young and she was forced to say so. And later on, when I asked my daughter about the matter, she said because she wanted to be free, then she just said what she was asked to say. Um, did your daughter tell you um, why she told the militia that you were a lieutenant? Uh, not, for instance, a sergeant or a colonel or something else or a soldier? Soldier. 
In fact, she told me réponse. she was threatened to say Elle those words. Elle m'a dit qu'on l'avait menacé, qu'on lui avait demandé de dire précisément her, ces mots-là. Les Khmer Rouge l'ont arrêté. Uh, evaded from her children unit to go and steal a sugar cane. Pour voler de la canne à sucre. And she was forced to say those words that I was a lieutenant in Phnom Penh and if she said such words then she would be released. That's how she was threatened by Ong Ka and she was young and she wanted to be freed so she said those words. Um, do you know why it was that the people who in interrogated you needed to have Les gens qui Some vous form of confession of your seven-year-old daughter de la part in, de in order to be able to arrest you. Pour pouvoir vous arrêter. I do not know about that. Réponse, As at the time, I was uh, at the Oxcad unit. À l'époque, moi j'étais à l'unité de la Charité. And the reason for my arrest was. Because of what my daughter said about me. C'est ce qu'a dit ma fille à mon sujet. But going back to my earlier question, did your daughter later say why she had told the militia that you were a lieutenant and not just a soldier, for instance? Lieutenant, précisément, spécifiquement, et pas soldat, par exemple. I have just told you about réponse, that. Mais je viens de vous le dire. My daughter told me that Ma she was threatened to say that et qu'on l'avait forcé à dire that que her moi, father son was père, a lieutenant in lieutenant Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh. She was threatened to On say menacé. those words. On l'a forcé à dire ces choses. That's not mean that she wanted to say those words Ça ne veut pas dire by herself. It was the words that she, were, she was ordered to say, and if she said those words, then she would be released dit, and she could return to her children's unit. Um, does that mean Maître that the militia already suspected you to be a lieutenant Vous and then ask for confirmation from your daughter. À votre fille. No, they did not have any suspicion on me. No, il n'avait aucun soupçon à mon sujet. Because I told them that I was never a soldier. Parce que je leur ai dit que je n'avais jamais été soldat. And the uh, f the first reason was that my daughter was arrested from her La children's unit. Raison, parce que ma fille she a was été beaten and she was forced to say those words. Et on a forcé à dire ces mots. Um, Mr. Civil Party, on a few Notre occasions you have um, given testimony to the effect that uh, the militia guards who uh, brought you to Angrokar uh, were carrying on them an AK-47. Um, can you tell us how you knew at the time that these guards were carrying the so-called AK-47? que les gardes portaient sur eux à cette époque un prétendu AK-47. Réponse. When I was taken for, from Tropeang Thom, lorsque l'on m'a emmené depuis Tropeang Thom to Angroka Market, au marché d'Angroka, a militia man and I was not sure whether he was a village or commune militia man si handed me over to Taru. De commune au du village m'a alors remis à Taru.
and Taru went into an office. Taru and est alors allé dans un when bureau. he came out, he brought along with him ressorti, that AK-47 rifle, and I saw it with my own eyes. Avec lui, et je vu de mes propres yeux. Um, that's how I understood your testimony. Um, my Coppe, question, Mr. Silverbright, is how do you votre, know at the time the gun suivante, or the rifle that you saw, saw was que le fusil what is called an AK-47? I did not know at the time uh, that it was either it was an AK-47 or AK-48 rifle, si but because of the shape of the uh, cartridge, then I recognized that it was an AK-47 rifle. And would you be able to explain Mais us Coco. how you could determine from the cartridge that the rifle was an AK-47? Where did you get that knowledge? Ces the AK-47 rifle hit a cartridge in the shape of a, a curve, a rather curve or shape. Une so de forme I recognized that it was an AK-47, and courbe. in each cartridge there, could be, there, there would be 30 Et dans uh, il y avait bullets. 30 balles. In, in that magazine, there would be 30 uh, bullets, but at that time, I didn't know how many bullets were uh, loaded in that uh, magazine. Combien de balles étaient chargées dans le magasin en question? Where did you get the knowledge um, of how many bullets would fit into the cartridge of an AK-47? nombre de cartouches qui rentraient dans le magasin d'un fusil AK-47. Because I used to see that kind of rifle. Réponse. Parce que je voyais ce genre. De fusil. When I was in Phnom Penh, that is Lorsque before the 17 Phnom April 1975, I saw those kinds of uh, rifles in Phnom Penh. Je voyais ce and type de fusil I saw it also Penh. when I was at the Obak Om refugee Je camp, vu au camp de and there Obak were soldiers Om. there who uh, carried Il the AK-47 rifles. So immediately, immediately upon seeing the rifle, Donc, I recognized fusil, it uh, immediately that it was an AK-47. Um, Mr. Witness, you've uh, been asked by the investigators of the co-investigating judge, um, Mr. President, that is E319-12.3.8, question 6, um, questions about um, the Vietnamese soldiers um, who were called the Mike Force, um, or, quote, unquote, tomorrow die with the military insignia of a skull. La force, um, can you tell us avec how you knew crâne, about this unit called the Mike Force? Cette unité militaire, la Mike force? I Stayed along the border. J'habitais le long de la frontière. And during the coup d'état in 1970, coup en 1970, when it was conducted by Lunar to topple Sihanouk, 
coup d'état qui a été mené par the soldiers, de Sianouk, the, the les soldats Mike Force with the la Mike Force symbol. qui portait l'insigne du crâne le symbole du crâne the village, to village. There were many est of them. dans le village And that was the ils étaient I nombreux these, uh, my voilà pourquoi je connaissais cette force la Mike Force Um, in, that, in that same statement to the investigators dans, of the investigating judge, uh, question 44, même dans ce même document, um, question 44 you testified vous dites, um, that Khmer Krom people que um, in Swayvo village Khmer had a rank of an officer. I will read you the full question and, and the answer to be more precise. Question, when you were in Svevo village, did you know if there were people killed? Your answer, yes there were. Khmer Krom people had a rank of an officer. In Svevo village, the Khmer Rouge propagandized that those who were officers during the Lonno regime would be allowed to resume their positions in the army and that they would be dispatched to fight the Yun. But in fact, they were all taken to be killed. I'm specifically asking you about this one little sentence at the beginning. Khmer Krom people had a rank of an officer. Can you tell me, can you tell the chamber how you knew this? Comment vous saviez que les Khmer Krom avaient un rang d'officier? When we were to their area, nous avons été évacués vers cet endroit, and about 10 days after, the village chief, Tassom, convened a meeting and said that au cours de cette réunion, il a dit for anyone who held a position que toute of rank occupant une fonction ou in the un army, for instance, dans par exemple, they need to tell him the truth and then and that they would be sent to their previous eh bien, positions. And if they were a second lieutenant or a lieutenant or a captain or a teacher, then they would be uh, sent back to their positions. For example, a teacher would be sent back to teach the children, and for the ranked soldiers, they would be sent to the front battlefield to fight against uh, the Vietnamese. And upon hearing that, And that was the trickery used uh, by the Khmer Rouge because, Khmer Rouge. in fact, they wanted to know Parce que ce en if vérité, anyone held si any position or had any rank in the previous army dans because they wanted to uh, revenge those people. Parce qu'il voulait se venger de ces personnes. I, I listened carefully to your answer, uh, Mr. Witness, but I, I don't think I heard you explain to me why you thought or why you said it was that Khmer Krom people had a rank of an officer. I, I still don't understand why this specific, why it was that you said this specific thing. Why did Khmer Krom citizen, uh, people had a rank of, of an officer? What do you mean? I knew it because the Khmer uh, Krom people were told about it during a meeting and since I was living with them I 
They told me that if dit, uh, any of them were army officers uh, in Kampong Sam or in uh, other areas. Des officiers de l'armée à Kampong Sam ou ailleurs. And through that, I learned about this information and also through eh bien, my observation. C'est ainsi que j'ai appris. Those people who told the Khmer Rouge about their previous positions, they disappeared two or three, day, three days later. And I concluded that they were not uh, taken anywhere but to be killed. Um, let me now turn uh, to the questioning of you um, at Angkor Wat, you said that you were interrogated and that you were asked over and over whether you were or whether you had been in fact um, a lieutenant in the Lonol Army. You told us that you said that you were not guilty. Um, Do you remember whether the interrogators at one point accepted your statement? Did they believe vous you were in fact not a former si a law law officer? Les personnes qui vous ont interrogé ont cru votre affirmation selon laquelle vous n'étiez pas un officier de law law. It was. It seems Réponse. that they were. They hesitated to make that decision. That's why they kept me. Ils ont me. hésité à prendre cette décision apparemment, et c'est pour cela qu'ils m'ont gardé. And if they took my words that I was a laborer and I earned a living by selling firewood. Je leur ai dit que j'étais un ouvrier, que je gagnais ma vie en vendant du bois de cuisson. They would let me go, but because they si were unsure, for that reason, they uh, kept me alive. Partir, but how do you know that? Did they, did they tell Maître you Kometo, that they vous believed vous you, vous you vous or that they were hesitating? Dit, what is it that you can tell us from your memory? Comment, comment savez-vous cela? De quoi vous souvenez-vous à ce sujet? I do not know whether they believed what I said. Réponse. I cannot si make that a conclusion. Je ne peux pas tirer cette conclusion. However, I was tortured in order to make that a confession. Cependant, j'ai été torturé pour faire cet aveu. How many times were you interrogated? Do you remember? Maître Coppe, combien de fois avez-vous été interrogé? Vous en souvenez-vous? At the beginning, I was interrogated by the chief of the militia. Au début, c'est le chef de la milice qui m'a interrogé. I was tortured during that interrogation, and that was the first time that I was uh, interrogated. Interrogé. And when I was sent to be detained, ensuite j'ai été in the prison, en I dans was la prison. interrogated again. À ce moment-là, j'ai été interrogé à nouveau. But do you remember what you told the militia to convince them that you were not a former Lonol officer? Do you remember what you told the militia to convince them that you were not a former officer? The matter whether they believe that I was a Lieutenant in the former Lunar regime or not, 
I could not make that réponse. a conclusion. Je ne peux tirer aucune conclusion the truth si is that the four or five militiamen beat me up again and again, one after another. Tour tour, they forced me to say that I was a, a lieutenant in the former lunar regime, and if I were to say that, I would be released to return to my unit. Si but how could I say that? Because I did not, uh, I was not a soldier in the former regime. Soldats dans le régime, sous le régime de l'ONU. Uh, but, but would you be able to remember from the way you were interrogated whether your interrogators were in fact convinced si that you had been an officer in the l'ONU army? Convaincu que vous étiez officier dans l'armée de l'ONU. Non. Nah. I have told you already that I could not make a conclusion whether they believed what I told them or not. And I was bitten, I was tortured. And I was never a soldier. And I kept telling them that I was a laborer and that I Et earned a living by selling firewood. And in the end, I was put on a, a horse cart to go to be detained in that the finir, prison. President Council, please move on if you have uh, other uh, topics to Maître, cover, si because it seems that uh, you keep repeating sujet, the same questions question. on uh, the same uh, topic. If not, then the, the chamber will give the floor to another defense team. Um, did the, the questions, Mr. President, go to whether Khmer Rouge Cadres believed or not whether he was a, a loan or officer, and then what the consequences would be. It goes to the heart of the allegation of the prosecution. So um, it might sound repetitive, but it's going directly to the core of um, of the allegations of an existing policy to exterminate any, any, anybody with a rank. So I, I think I'm entitled to some leeway, uh, even if it sounds repetitive. I'm just trying to uh, find the truth here. President, the Chamber has heard enough on the topic uh, that you sujet. questioned, that you put questions to the civil party, and if you don't have any si other questions on other matters, then the chamber will give the floor to another defense team. And the civil party has responded clearly already to your question. And of course, you cannot force or try to repeat the question so Et that you elicit the, the answer you want from the civil party. Civil. Uh, fine, Mr. President, I'll move Maître on. Coppe, um, Je passe à autre chose. Mr. Civil Party, have you learned Monsieur later, after 1979, why you were sent to Angroka and not sent to Krangtachan? Answer. <coughs> I couldn't know why. I simply could not know. Um, You've also spoken a few times briefly about prisoners Coppe, possibly being taken to uh, the Damrai Romil mountain. Um, can you explain to us why you thought that prisoners might have been taken to that specific location? Other than you already endroit, testified that you peeped through a hole. Um, can you be more specific why you thought they were brought to uh, the Dam Rai Romil mountain? Answer. Uh, 
je ne savais pas comme I did je l'ai dit no why as i told you dans tout à l'heure euh, Adam, il, à Anroka, j'ai, j'étais Anroka, entravé, I was shackled, mais j'ai regardé and à, à travers just un trou looked euh, through du mur, a crack in the wall. et je ne pouvais pas en déduire que les étaient that, pour être exécutés à, à Plum Dombey-Romil ou à un autre endroit. Or anywhere else. Euh, j'ai, euh, tout I simply cette, euh, scène, saw this happen. Saw people being arrested. They were tied up and they were la, being brought le to Damray Romil Mountain. Um, il, But I did not know euh, where they were being brought to because I was shackled. Je, euh, sur le dos. Je and I was lying on my back and I couldn't turn anywhere. Do you, do you know how far uh, Angroka um, was situated from um, Romil Mountain? De la how, how many kilometers was it between Angroka prison and Damray Romil Mountain? Answer. Je ne pouvais pas vous donner une est- euh, je ne peux pas vous donner une estimation. I tell you. Euh, je voyais la montagne I depuis Angroka. I would just Angroka. see the mountain in the distance from Angroka. Euh, disons que euh, il y a environ euh, uh, entre 6 et 7 it is about 6 to 7 kilometers away. Um, some additional questions Question. on your fellow prisoners. Um, if I understand your testimony correctly, you are saying that you don't know much about si j'ai bien compris um, votre déposition, reasons for the arrest of your fellow prisoners. Um, did you never speak to each other about reasons of arrest, for instance, at night when you were shackled? Or during the day when you were working together? Lorsque vous étiez entravé ou pendant la journée, par exemple? Réponse. Answer. Non. No. Je n'ai jamais parlé avec eux. I never spoke to them. Ni discuté. J'avais peur de rien dire. I was dire. afraid. Il était interdit de discuter euh, sous ce régime et nous avions peur to other people under this regime so we were afraid to talk je connaissais I un certain knew Khan a so named Khan Il a dit euh, avoir gardé les vaches, ou amener les vaches euh, broutées. Euh, apparemment, il a dit euh, euh, lancer quelque chose apparemment, sur un veau, euh, ce qui a provoqué, which, euh, ce qui a fait que euh, which, euh, des membres, enfin des pattes euh, ont été cassées et c'est pour cela qu'il a été emmené en détention. Explains why uh, the veal broke uh, its legs and that's why he was brought away to be detained. Uh, let me ask it more concretely. Do you know of any Question. fellow prisoners while you were there who were also, Savez-vous who had also been accused of being former si Lonol officers or soldiers? Vous avaient eux aussi été accusés d'être d'anciens soldats ou fonctionnaires de Lonol? Réponse. Answer. Non. No. Je n'ai discuté avec personne. I spoke to je no one. n'étais pas au courant de tout ça. So I wasn't aware of all of this. Um, another question. I heard you say earlier this morning, Mr. Silopati, uh, something about uh, a slogan that you had heard. Slogan words to the effect that keeping you is no gain and um, losing you is no loss. Do you remember who exactly said this to you? 
père d'elle, on ne perdait rien non plus. Savez-vous qui vous a dit cela bah, Réponse, donc mm -hmm. ce slogan, well, the slogan était dit partout et non seulement par moi, j'ai entendu ce slogan euh, moi-même. Euh, sorti de la bouche des gens de Mouloutan, du genre, From euh, the par exemple, de Chun de Meng, for example, the ils ont dit Domain, à vous ne gardez aucun profit, à vous ne faire disparaître no profit in keeping and no loss in losing you. Par exemple, pour for les gens euh, euh, ils sortaient euh, ce slogan They à leur sujet. Voilà, à euh, the slogan. ne garder aucune, aucun profit, à les euh, faire disparaître aucune perte. With new prisoners and say that there was no uh, gain in keeping them and no loss in losing them. Um, have, my, my question was, question. do you remember who exactly Je set this? Je vous ai demandé si vous saviez uh, précisément qui vous avez dit I believe you put it in, pourquoi vous étiez uh, à Angroca. Who was it specifically that said that to you? J'aimerais savoir qui vous l'a dit précisément. Réponse c'était Meng. It was Meng. Même le chef de la prison de, de ce centre de the sécurité. C'est lui center. qui l'avait dit. He is the one who said that. Have you ever heard this slogan uh, being said on the radio? Avez-vous entendu ce slogan à la radio? Réponse. Answer. Uh, à l'époque, uh, j'étais comme dans un trou. Uh, I was living like in a hole. Dans les ténèbres. I was living in darkness. Uh, je ne pouvait pas écouter so euh, des émissions à la radio. radio. Donc je n'ai jamais entendu so, ce, of course, ce slogan. I never heard this slogan on the radio. Um, have you ever heard of something called Question. revolutionary flag? Avez-vous entendu parler du, de l'étendard révolutionnaire? Ma réponse. Answer. Oui. Yes. J'ai entendu parler I de ces revues d'étendard about this uh, magazine, Revolutionary Flag. Have, have you ever read one? Question. En avez-vous lu un exemplaire? Réponse, Answer. non, jamais. No, never. J'ai entendu uh, tout simplement I parler just de ces heard people revues. speak about this uh, magazine. Have you ever heard anybody Question. say to you, people who read that magazine, entendu whether they in fact read this slogan in the revolutionary flag de cette revue keeping you is uh, no gain, etc. Do you know whether this slogan si was ever used in the revolutionary si flag? Réponse. Answer. Non, je n'ai jamais lu euh, I never ces revues. Read this magazine, so. J'ai tout simplement entendu parler. I simply de ces heard revues. about it. That's all. Um, my last question. question. Mm -hmm. To you, Une dernière Party. question, Monsieur Laparte. Have you ever been a member of the Mike Force? Avez-vous été membre vous-même de la Mike Force? Réponse. Answer. Euh, J'ai, euh, je vous ai parlé de ce I sujet. I spoke to you about this euh, already. Les, euh, my Mike Force. The Mike euh, avait Force. Une, euh, un signe de uh, tête, Fighters uh, had a skull de crâne, emblem so, um, et uh, on on them so les appelait, uh, they were called de, uh, 
la mort c'est demain. The, the voilà, death, ce sont death is tomorrow qui unit. Du Vietnam, These ouais. are people who came from Vietnam. But were you a member of them or were you ever associated with the Mais étiez-vous membre de cette force ou étiez-vous associé d'une façon quelconque à cette force? Réponse, Answer. Non, no, jamais. Never. J'en ai vu tout simplement. I simply saw Merci. Mike Force fighters. That's all. No further questions, Mr. President. Maître Copé, je n'ai plus de questions, Monsieur le Président. La Chambre the chamber donne will now give the floor to the Kyo Sampan Defense. Council Kong Samon, thank you, Mr. President. I have a few questions to put to the civil party. Tout d'abord, je vais vous poser des questions pour clarifier le document E3. To ask you questions with relation to document E3/5034. Votre constitution de parti civil. Which is your civil party application? Dans ce document. In this document, le nom de Tiawni figure. We can see the Donc name Chauni mentioned. Si so I would like connu, to know if uh, you Chauni knew Chauni de remplir ce formulaire de renseignement sur or les victimes. if you had known him before you filled out uh, the victim's information form. Réponse. Answer. Je ne l'avais jamais connu I auparavant. Never knew him before. Un jour, donc après la mise en One place du tribunal mixte after au the Cambodge, court was set up, Chauni est venu Chauni came me voir donc, to chez see me Yim Yen, at Im Yeng's place. Elle a dit que she été said that I had been tortured and detained. À ce moment -là. And then, Chauni Chau a, a envoyé quelqu'un pour m'emmener, euh, m'amener, euh, le voir euh, chez lui parce que j'avais été uh, torturé I had et been tortured and detained. Donc, il m'a demandé de so me constituer, euh, me pas de formuler ma plainte. Euh, il m'a dit également que le tribunal euh, avait draft été my créé, et mis he said en place. That the court had et c'était lui-même qui and it was euh, était venu déposer he himself ma plainte who came to tender my à ma place. Euh, et et of je me. ne savais même pas and où I se did trouvait l'endroit où on recevait la, les plaintes. These complaints uh, were received. Et, et donc, and so I plainte, uh, formulated my complaint vécu, based on my own personal et, history, et lui, il and était uh, he was de in charge uh, of uh, bringing my complaint uh, Mer to uh, the Maître court. Consumon, Council Consumon, Consumon, thank you. So you uh, wrote uh, quelqu this complaint yourself, or did someone help you uh, draft it? Réponse. Answer. Je l'ai écrite moi-même. I wrote it myself. Et seul, sans aucune assistance Without de qui que ce soit. anyone helping me. Mais euh, le fait est euh, que euh, Tiaouni savait où se trouvait Chani, however, où il fallait déposer la plainte uh, et il était chargé de to, uh, de, uh, de poser ma plainte à ma place. Uh, voilà, charge donc, ma plainte, of, uh, je l'ai écrite moi-même sans aucune me. assistance de so, personne. Et donc, however, I wrote it all on my own without anyone helping me. Question. Question. 
Donc, cela veut so dire this que means dans that uh, formulaire, in hein, your application or in uh, your victim's information form, everything that is written there yes, was exact. written by yourself. Is that true? Réponse, Answer, oui, yes, exact. absolutely. Question, Question. Merci. thank you. Dans le document In document um, e E319-312.3.8, à la question uh, 90, 92, uh, 90, et 90, question 97 et 98, uh, Est-ce que vous avez fait, euh, rempli ce formulaire Which vous même is, Did you fill out the form yourself La question, non. And you say no. Uh, réponse, pardon. You oui. answer no. La question suivante. So, and the following question. Uh, sur uh, ce formulaire, uh, vous avez you, apposé votre empreinte digitale. Your thumbprint digital. is affixed on this form. Do you know who filled in this supplementary uh, information form for you supplémentaire, non, je... Uh, and you je answer, I neither filled in the supplementary même, information form by myself, nor remember pas, who filled it in uh, for me. Qui a rempli ce formulaire, mais Charlie but Charlie helped a ce, submit uh, this form for me. Uh, non, a déposé ce, uh, ce formulaire. Uh, vous souvenez -vous Do you remember de type de for, uh, de formulaire? the kind of form this was? Réponse. Answer. Cela fait longtemps. Well, it's been quite a while Il y avait, uh, since effectivement deux there were indeed two forms. Mais quand j'ai répondu non but when I answered euh, no au sujet de, with de regard to filling out the form, sur un formulaire, j'ai vu que ce n'était pas mon écriture. It is because I saw that one of the forms uh, est, uh, did not, que, uh, my handwriting was not on one of those forms. Uh, and uh, it was said that a certain number of Vietnamese had been brought away to be executed. That's why I said, no, that's not the form I filled out. That's, that's um, the reason for all of this. Thank you. With regard again to the same document, À la question réponse at 54. Question 54. Question and answer 54. Uh, maître, uh, il s'agit uh, point 8 ou point 18? Uh, réponse, uh, point 8, Monsieur le Président. Uh, it's point 8, Mr. President. Donc la, la réponse 54, donc so, la, at la answer question. 54, well, what question 54, rather? Les Khmer Rouges ont-ils emmené des Khmer Chrom qui travaillaient à côté de l'Onol pour être exécutés Les Khmer Rouges ont emmené des Khmer pour être exécutés. Les Khmer Rouges ont emmené des Khmer pour être exécutés. Les Khmer Rouges ont emmené des Khmer pour être exécutés. Les Khmer Rouges ont emmené des Khmer pour être exécutés. Les Khmer Rouges ont emmené des Khmer pour être exécutés. Les Khmer Rouges ont emmené des Khmer pour être exécutés. Les Khmer Rouges ont emmené des Khmer pour être exécutés. Les Khmer Rouges ont emmené des Khmer pour être exécutés. Les Khmer Rouges ont emmené des Khmer pour être exécutés. Les Khmer Rouges ont emmené des Khmer pour être exécutés. Les Khmer Rouges ont emmené des Khmer pour être exécutés. Les Khmer Rouges ont emmené des Khmer pour être exécutés. Who did not work exécuté. for the Lonol regime? Et il est, By the il way, est de it was also hard to distinguish ou non. whether uh, or not question, they were Khmer Krom. Uh, J'aimerais vous demander une clarification, une précision. I would like to seek some clarification from you. Uh, 
Est-ce que euh, connaissez-vous quelqu'un you know, euh, de un Khmer Krom ou des Khmer Krom qui n'étaient pas Khmer Krom euh, people des officiers ou des gens qui travaillaient pour le régime Lonnol qui n'ont pas été exécutés pour être exécutés Est-ce que vous savez que les Khmer Krom ont été exécutés Réponse. Answer. Lors des réunions dans le, au village, During the meetings le chef in du the village, village, the village chief ne savait pas qui était des Khmer Krom. Did not know who was a Khmer Krom. Uh, ils étaient d'autres. Uh, Ethnie, or, or did not know uh, if uh, the people le, uh, had a different origin. Il a été pro, um, annoncé que It was um, announced des anciens fonctionnaires that pouvaient reprendre leurs fonctions. officials uh, could get back to their jobs. Que les Khmer It was then a, that the Khmer Krom avaient dit qu'ils étaient anciens soldats that they had um, been venus de Compensum et servicemen. Uh, Uh, for Lonol, um, who had arrived from Kompong Saum, the uh, galons. Et il y avait d'autres Khmer Krom qui n'avaient pas de position de fonction no uh, sous le de Lonol. Under the Lonol regime. Mais à vrai dire. But Um, to be clear with you, no question was l'identification des Khmer Krom, with regard to the identification of the Khmer Krom, résumé, but to sum things up, to be clear with you, the Khmer Krom did have an accent. Question, Merci question. De m le thank you, Mr. President, I have no further questions. Uh, maître, vous Council, vous avez la parole. you have the floor. Bonjour, monsieur. J'ai une ligne de questions très brève I have a very brief line of concernant euh, here les réponses que vous avez données à mon that confrère Victor Coppé uh, à propos Coppe de votre connaissance des armes. Uh, J'ai remarqué weapons. que I noted that, uh, non seulement vous connaissiez only, you know, la contenance la plus fréquente du chargeur des fusils AK-47, AK mais que vous aviez également bullets, su décrire la particularité du dessin des cartouches of, uh, que l'on a produit dans ces fusils. Vous avez parlé des courbes guns. particulières de that, cette cartouche. Uh, uh, the were curved, or, alors, so, j'ai bien entendu que vous aviez I, expliqué course, aussi avoir vu ces fusils lorsque vous étiez à Phnom Penh en qualité de réfugié. Refugee, Mais je me demande myself, comment est-ce que vous avez une connaissance aussi précise et détaillée, non seulement de la contenance des chargeurs, mais également de la forme des magazines, de ce fusil. Uh, est-ce que vous pouvez nous l'expliquer, monsieur Réponse. Answer. Bah, C'était parce que well, euh, j'étais au camp it is because I was des réfugiés at the refugee euh, camp, sous la surveillance des soldats. Uh, under the supervision of the army and I saw le, le, AK -47, the AK-47s and the M-16s and, uh, and the R-15s because, because at the camp where I was there were aussi. soldiers too Et les soldats vous montraient leurs fusils et vous ont expliqué le fonctionnement. Ils vous montraient également les cartouches et les chargeurs. Ils vous expliquaient comment cela fonctionnait. C'est cela votre réponse, monsieur C'est ça votre réponse, monsieur Réponse. J'étais avec des soldats. J'étais avec des soldats. C'était naturel qu'ils me donnaient les noms de ces fusils. Tell me the names of these different rifles or guns. J'étais 
Uh, ouvrier, I um, had been a, a factory à worker de, de couper du bois, mais, uh, and my job consisted in cutting wood pour, um, but back réfugiés, then donc, the soldiers were there to defend the refugees so then sometimes I asked them well what's the name of such and such a gun or, the, or that's why I got to know fusils. the names of these guns Pas d'autres questions Monsieur le Président The interpreter did not hear. Merci, Maître. Thank you, Council. Monsieur Tan Kim, Mr. Tan Kim, the Chamber thanks you for having testified here today. Your testimony contributes to the ascertainment of the truth, so but your presence here is no longer necessary. You therefore can return home. Uh, I uh, wish you bon voyage, uh, court officer. As well as Wesu, can you take the necessary measures for the witness uh, to return home or to travel back to the place of his choice? And the chamber would also like to support, uh, to thank uh, KPO that uh, supported the civil party during his uh, um, testimony. Mr. Tin uh, Salat, you uh, are excused. Uh, civil party, you are also excused. Please hold on for uh, a few seconds, please. Because I mistook you for a witness, whereas you are a civil party. As you know, you can make a declaration of um, suffering suffering linked to crimes that were committed and which led you to join as a civil party. So you can make your statement on the suffering you endured the suffering you endured Et vous avez le droit de le faire and à, you are entitled to do so at the end of your testimony. Donc, so, allez-y. Please proceed. First of all, allow me to say thank you uh, to your honors and uh, Mr. President. I'd like to make my personal statement of suffering that I went through during the period of three years, eight months, and 20 days. It was miserable for me to live through that regime. J'ai beaucoup souffert sous ce régime. And the fact that I survived the regime means that I was reborn. Le fait reborn. que j'ai survécu à ce régime représente pour moi une renaissance. I was used to. I was forced to overwork and given only gruel to eat. I was beaten, I was tortured and imprisoned. Physically and mentally, I suffered. And I could not get help from anyone. I prayed through the souls of my parents Je and my ancestors and the gods soeurs, and the sacred objects to save me, to rescue me. And fortunately, I survived. I survived thanks to the seven January victory. Grâce à la victoire du 7 janvier.
I survived because of that particular day. J'ai survécu grâce à ce I jour en particulier. Most miserable period. J'ai vécu My la période la plus dure de mon existence. Mais I j'ai été entravé par les chevilles. J'étais allongé move. par terre, je Some ne pouvais pas bouger. Certains prisonniers n'étaient entravés que par une cheville. Mais moi, circle were circle. j'avais bien les deux chevilles entravées. J'avais beaucoup de mal à les me soulager there. lorsque j'étais détenu là-bas. And the container was a bit far from for me to reach. And because both C'est of my feet were circled, it was very difficult to to reach the container. And I had to ask an inmate there to move. Et pour to move it, and then moi, I had to maneuver myself so that I could put the container underneath me. It was the moi. most miserable uh, moment J'ai in my life. Beaucoup, beaucoup souffert. C'était la période la plus dure and de mon I existence. did not deserve that. Et je ne le I pas. did not make any mistake. Je and why I faute. received such an injustice during that J'ai regime? Subi cette injustice. Since I was born, that was the first time that I went Depuis through naissance, such miserable period, that is from 1975 to 79. I was in a state of being alive but being dead J'étais at the same time. Et mort à la fois à cette époque. Although I survived but physically Certes, j'ai survécu, I suffered mais j'ai beaucoup souffert sur le plan physique. and my body is now weak Je suis maintenant très faible. and I would like to appeal to the court to please je demande donc à la chambre assist 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 me bien vouloir me venir en aide de me nous venir justice, en aide pour que la justice soit faite pour que la justice soit impartie et pour uh, gain and of course i appreciate and i would request for the Compensation, collective uh, reparation je parle ici de réparation and at the same time I would seek a personal financial award for the damage that I suffered materially and physically during the regime since now physically I am weak and I cannot do a proper uh, living I can only engage in uh, lighter work Je ne peux effectuer que des tâches assez légères. And to your honors and to the the councils, to the prosecutors, Madame et les juges, mesdames et messieurs les coprocureurs, both uh, national les and international. Nationaux et internationaux. I wish you all. Happiness. Good health je and long life le meilleur. Je vous and de good strength longtemps, en bonne santé, so that you can solve this matter, this issue for us, the victims, les problèmes and des that victimes. we would receive the justice Et in the end. Thank you, faite. Mr. President. Merci, le President. President, uh, once President, again, thank merci you, Mr. Beaucoup, Tan Kim. The Chima would like to clearly uh, confirm that La Chambre you cannot claim or seek a personal award during these uh, proceedings, and that is clearly stated in the internal rules of this court concerning reparation. You can only seek a moral Vous and collective reparation. And not a, a personal or financial uh, or material award. Ni ma financière. And uh, Mr. Tantim, you may now Monsieur leave Tantim, the court. Vous 
as well as the uh, TPO staff. Le représentant du TPO peut également se retirer. President, it is now appropriate to take a short break. Le moment est venu de faire une petite pause. A break now and return at three o'clock. Nous reprendrons à quinze heures. And when we return, the chamber will hear the testimony of a witness. Nous entendrons la déposition d'un témoin, le témoin de TCW 809. The court is now in recess. Sonjin Kluchow.